Hey everybody, it's me, your friendly neighborhood rectangle. I was just thinking we'd get started on some Square Soft Saturday. Yes, I think that'll be wonderful. If you guys would like to join me, we're going to do some FF2. And then there's the potential for a sea star to join me at some point on the following stream the next pilot if not tonight then maybe tomorrow but we shall see so with that being said I guess it's about time for me to get my collective business together and get situated into the FF2 business that's what you guys are ultimately here wanting to see, not to just listen to the dulcet tones of my voice. <laughs> All right. Come on, Retro Arc. There we go. So it looks like, <clears throat> and just let me know if the yeah, let me know if the audio levels are off or anything. Oh no! Oh! Oh, thank goodness! All right. <laughs> There we go. Much better. Uh. 
Oh yeah. Oh, you're dead. Yep. Yay! <laughs> I am not about that life. No! <sighs> am I going the wrong way? You know what? Did I goof up? <laughs> Apparently I did. I was just kidding, guys. <laughs> Whoops. We already did all that. So, to the dark world, we've run up with Edge's parents. I thought I was missing something. <laughs> So now we're about to get into an epic battle. There we go. Ooh. I will bring you all down to the Hades. I. I am. Dad? Mom? What's wrong with you? Asked every kid of their parents ever. Um. <laughs> let's see. Hang out. Oh. You guys like to use a lot of the fire. Let's use some of the ice. It's me! Edge! Oh. They became conscious. Edge, listen. We're no longer human. We must not live long- What? I'm sorry, dear. Ellipses for days. Before we lose our... Mind. We must go. What? Take care, Edge. No! Please! Goodbye, Edge. Don't, Mom! Don't go! Expression of anguish. I'm not throwing my voice out for that. No. Ooh, it's a Rubicant. Wretched Luke, how dare he? Rubicant, I'm never gonna forgive you! Never! Luke turned your parents into monsters on his own. I apologize for that. I'm not like the others, you see. I want to play fair. Shut up! Oh, how brave. But you'll never gain real strength as long as you are swayed by emotions. I'll show you the power of anger! <clears throat> Rage drew out Edge's hidden powers. Ew, now I got Flood and Blitz. Let's see. 
but my coat, my cloak of flame cannot be penetrated even by cold. Yeah, but you stick your leg out half the daggum time, so, uh, how's that gonna work? One last little minute of some preparations. I don't remember how drawn out this is, so yeah, I'm going ahead and hedge our bets, better hedges, and all that good stuff. Um, I'm sure it can. Okay. It's probably not going to matter, just because she's going to be busy healing. Yeah, I think everybody else is ready to go. So, we will do the customary magical, mystical ritual there. And I now rest... I'm used to games not doing this <laughs> in my defense. I shall now restore you to full strength. Fight with all your might! Alright. Ooh, that's gonna knock my hit points. Ouch! Okay. like to use his new ninja stuff. Oh no, don't kill her! Okay, that's alright. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Dang. that being more difficult. <laughs> I was fully pre prepared to get down to one character and then start just mad heal spamming and everything. Well, now I see why Golba's had a hard time with you. Weak people can join forces. I admire you, warriors. Farewell. Dad! Mom! I avenged you! What? <laughs> Your Highness!
Chamberlain! We won't let your highness go alone. Where is Rubicant? Huh? It's over! We did it! Oh, that becomes the prince? All oh, because of these guys! Thank you, good sirs. So who's Golbez? He's the evil guy trying to gather the crystals to reach the moon. He is the mastermind over Rubicant. Why the moon? For the power. And we have to stop him. Golbez, he was all behind this. I'm gonna go get him. Oh, ho, 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 ho. But your highness, we must rebuild our castle. The world's in danger. I gotta do something. Besides, I don't like that guy. <sighs> oh, but your highness. Ah, don't worry. Now go back to Eblon. Very well. Sirs, take care of our prince. Your Highness, good fortune be with you. <laughs> Okie dokie! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no. Right, so let's go smash Golbez. To get back the crystals. Alright, let's go! A pitfall. <laughs> Oof. Ow. Seems like we've fallen to the underground. Huh? Oh. oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. That's good enough. Um, okay. This is gonna be some pretty sweet experience if I can pull it off. No, 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 don't attack my party cane. <laughs> Let's see. Hey. Oof. Okay. Oh, and a regular Lamia. All right. Experience obtained. Sweet. Okay. Sort of swanky stuff already. And yes! Uh, how about I start first by GTFOing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is there something over here? What? 
New airship? <laughs> Let's take this airship and get out of the tower. It's not yours. <laughs> That's okay. It would be happy to be used by us. I don't know why he sounds like a surfer dude in my head. <laughs> Oi. Uh, isn't this a trap or something? <laughs> don't worry. I like this airship. It's called Falcon. How do you like that? Come on, hurry, Edge. Okay, okay, now go, Falcon! Now watch, they bust out of wherever they're busted out of, and then they get shot down by the Red Wings immediately. That'd be hilarious. I'm pretty sure that's not what happens. <laughs> But, too bad we don't have Sid, because this would be a new toy for him to play with. Oh, it doesn't go over lava. Alright, so... Because that's not my controller being dorky. It's It literally will not go over lava. Alright, so... I won. I d Okay, I remember. <laughs> Eventually we'll make our way back over here, because this is where we came down initially. It won't let us go up, so... Let's go back to the dwarves and see if they've got anything for us. Right here. Doot. And I wonder if there's new equipment we can get now. That we've got like all the monies. And the way we're going through lives. cheap. Alright. Restock the consumables. There we go. And before I do anything else, let's see. Who did I put the ice arrows on? Thanks. Yo. Alright. There we go. That's the fat choke, though. You know what? I could go ahead and toss some of that stuff in. But I do do Just want to wanted to consolidate. Oh, six hundred GP a night. That's a ripoff. Too bad I don't have a white chocobo, huh? <coughs> Let's go. Okay. 
Oh, that's the bam. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm in the right tower, which I have no business of being in. Okay. Let's go talk to the king and see. What's going on? Oh no! Do I have to go? Okay. <laughs> I always get turned around when I take breaks between playthroughs. Okay. There we go. That was an easy fix. We've been worried. How did it go? I'm afraid. I see. Gulbis is trying to force open the sealed cave. It's just a matter of time before he succeeds. So I want you to get the crystal before him. Luca! What is it, father? Give me your necklace. This one... This is the very se the very key to open the sealed cave. No one can open the. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Yep. No one can enter the cave without it. We must defend the last crystal at all cost. We'll do our best. That's the Luca key. Yay! All right. So where is this cave? <laughs> We'll counter the main forces of the enemy. You must go to the sealed cave to the southwest. Okay. We have to fly, but we can't fly, so we're counting on you. <gasps> oh, the cave of the summon monsters. You cannot fly over the magma. Where is the strange man of the airship? Okay. It's a town called Tamra. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, they kind of weren't for Bluey. Uh. So... To the southwest, you say? Alright. Well, it's the Tower of Babel. Do I need to go through the Tower of Babel to get back to the surface? That looks like that's my only option. Because I can't... really do anything. Huh. That's... yeah. Because I can get to the top. By going through the Tower of Babel... That's the only way I know how. That is not it. not the right way. And thankfully, there is, like, virtually no encounter rate so far. Or at least it's been greatly reduced. Of course, as I say that.
go out. Well, I could have stayed here. <laughs> like a dork. Toidles. Chompy toidles. Angry chompy turtles. This shouldn't take too awful long. <sighs> I just need to not say anything else. Because <laughs> the game just wants to test me today. <laughs> They're not worth it. The chimeras are not. See all that for what, 1100 GP or experience? <laughs> I am going to laugh if there was a secret way up through the Dwarven Castle. It just rendered this moot. But we shall see. That's okay, these guys I don't care. Come on, Kane. There we go. You'll take him out. Aluga, Aluga. Oh, I forgot about that. <sighs> That's gonna just negate everything I just did. Okay. <laughs> and trigger a counterattack to flambe my people. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 
Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's okay, though. This is better. No. Those take magic attacks only, and I ain't about that business. Did I take a wrong turn? <clears throat> I will be right back. So yeah, I took a wrong turn. So let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> because I'm a dork. He's going to be mean.
Sorry about that, guys. It was just easier to come back here instead of doing the trek all the way back down and boring you guys to tears. So much many dialogue and words and words and words. Complete with the crown prince going, Okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright. A pitfall. Whee! Plop. There we go.
There we go, and we will say right here. Because this is the right place to go. Imitated. All right. So drop off our items at the Bet Chocobo. Now the boo-boo I made was I didn't go in here. Because there's somebody sleeping in this bed. That strange old man does not act like a strange old man. Food. How can these people eat such tasteless... Sid! Oh, you're okay. Oh, good grief. <laughs> Who's this chap? Chap? You impertinent brat. Hey, who do you think you're talking to? Who is this little nuisance? I'm Edge, renowned prince of Ablon. Oh, he's a prince, although his mouth betrays his true nature. <laughs> and handsome skilled ninja is too, as well. He is injured. Don't anger him. Are you a henpecked boy? <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> I like how the imply radio is all like, hee hee, I like him. By the way, what of Golbez? We've defeated all of his four fiends. Except all the crystals, except for the last one are now... Now, we want to get to the last crystal, but the Enterprise is above on the upper world where we can't get to it. We snatched an airship from the enemy, but it cannot fly over the magma. Pa! Now it's my turn. Can't do anything without me. He exploded on a bomb and he just bounced, bounty butted right across. <laughs> you must stay in bed, Lolly. Wait until you hear Lolly. Ugh, shut up and help me remodel the airship. We have no time to waste. It is just a flesh wound. He looks fine. Yeah.
<laughs> Even put Edge to work. <laughs> oh. There, now you can fly over the magma. Oh, thank you, Sid. <sighs> Sid. Honk shoes. <laughs> oh, he must have been very tired. He has overworked himself. Thanks, Sid. <laughs> He shouldn't have done such a thing. It's a bit strange, but a nice guy, Lolly. Yup. Okay. Yep, I'm good and squared away. business. Get the key from Luca. There we go. And now, theoretically, I can go zoom zoom over the lava. Let's test her out, shall we? Because there's a bit... Yeah, there's a billion to million different places like this little place. Let's see what's here. Oh, Kakol the Smiths. This is home of the world's greatest blacksmith, Kakol Lali. Boss has lost his confidence, Lali. I'm never going to make another sword. I can't even find that legendary ore adamant. Hmm, pitch quest. Oh, elixir in the bookshelf, huh? You sneaking sips between jobs there, buddy. Is that what you're doing? it for now, but I have the feeling we have a legendary sword. If we combine that with the legendary or maybe some legendary stuff will happen. Legendarily. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Alright. Zoom. So we got that. Oh, here's the town. This is over to the southwest. I bet you that's the sealed cave. There's a lot of potent monsters through here. Uh, where is that? The sealed cave. We eventually have to hit all of these little landmarks, and I don't remember what's up there. Let's take a step and see. <laughs> that will come later, folks. So, before we 
go down there, what's up here? This is the land to the summon monsters. Okay. Part of the cave to the land of summon monsters. Alright. Which is where Rydia had hidden out. Or had been for a while. So let's go see what these fine folk have to say. In Tom. What kind of nifty things we got her? Oh, there's a naming way. Yeah, they're all the same standard stuff. Okay. Sometimes they change. Is the ocean on the upper world really blue? Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> you know something? Cave on the northwest island leads to the land of summon monsters. I just figured that out, actually. Thank you. <laughs> Cave of the fairies called Sylph is at the northwest end of this land. Okay. Sylphs are afraid of us, but we are nice, you see. Yeah, I see. Let's see how much you want. Ah, oh, 300 GP. No. That would have been nice to know. <laughs> at some point. Right, let's see what kind of shiny cutlery and business is. Okay, so the only thing... That's what she came equipped with, though, Regina. No, it was a regular whip. But you're gonna stay in the back row, so I'm not getting that for you yet. Hey, 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 I see you. He just kind of nopled out right through here. <laughs> Shiny, you must buy it. If it's shiny, you must buy it. <sighs> I'll get them. Let's see what they've got first. Let's see how much of a boost it is. It's a two-point boost. Does she have a tiara? She does. Does she? She does not. Here. Thank you. Sell off some of this stuff. Yeah, that's a little better. There we go. I still like the prospect of having all of this elemental resistance. I don't know if I want to trade that out yet. I 
think I'll hang on to that just in case. Okay. Or did you just... Well, customer! Uh-huh. Hi-ho! Came from the upper world? Where's that? F-R-U-M? Oh, he's got the zoomies! Oh no! Come here! <laughs> Don't have the zoomies! Oh my god! Hi-ho! Ah. Anything happening at the castle? Not that I know of. <laughs> Ooh, lots of treasure. Glad you came this far. Take whatever you want. Oh okay. yeah. Demand if I do. <laughs> business. Yeah, because we've been to the end. We've been to everywhere else. So. We have a couple of places we can go technically. We can either go ahead and do the sealed cave. We can do the Cave of Sylph, which technically we'd find somebody. If the story, or if the event is cute. I can't remember what triggers it. And, um, as well as get some summons for Rydia and a crap ton of experience. And we could also do the summon monsters. I'm not doing the sealed cave yet. I can do... This or the sealed cave. The summon monsters will be easier, I think. If I do that first, and then I'll do the Sylph Cave after that, so that we can get everything situated before we return to the surface. Because we will have an occasion to come back down here, and there is a glorious and hilarious scene where you get the bestest weapon on the face of the planet. It's amazing. <laughs> so, here... be doing this a lot because we got a lot of damage tiles I came here on my way from the land of summon monsters let's ask for help all right ready If you do not have the float spell, this game this becomes an absolute horrendous pain in the neck. We just happened to get it right after we fought Rubicant, so that was good at least.
This conjurer is giving me a run for my money, man. But the monsters in the sealed cave are a bit tougher too, so you get a lot of payoff. And there's a little town built into this one, so can't really fault it. And as we can see, there's no more float. So, oops. As I make you seasick with all the menu scrolling. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Don't need to deal with that. And you can even see the lower layers below you through the holes in the floor. I always thought that that was neat. The game is dead set on this guy chasing me. Good grief. Almost to the land of summon monsters. This cave's not very long. Ooh, ninja. I know somebody that can use that. Oh, good gravy. You know what? Let's do some combat. So far, all we've seen is the conjurer. That's why I kept running from him. Fla uh, flapped around my head.
and this should take care of them, and we should make it to the land of summon monsters at least. Oh. Well. Good grief, how many hit points? Ow. How many hit points does this guy have? gonna run from battle <laughs> all right no experience that's okay though Lydia you came back You're the first humans to visit her at the Numidia. Each little section has a bunch of little things. We are the monsters and this is our world. Colors can summon us to your world. Luckily, we happen to know one. Rydia. <gasps> Chukpo! Come here. Hello, Rydia. What? Is it strange if I talk? Oh. Slightly. Hi, Mr. Chocobo. You look friendly and your little feet is cute. <laughs> Talk to these guys first. Titan is a blockhead if you use magic a spell of float. Jokobo, Shiva, Indra. They all live here in the land of summoned monsters. I guess Jen is burning as usual, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, Mr. Jokobo just dancing around. Oh, it's a bomb. I mean, balloon. Lydia is glad to see her back. Wow. Lydia, don't go again. No, the monsters love her. Alright. We'll collect all the goodies and then we will skidoodle. Rydia, oh, your friends? This joke was just chilling. This is a library. Why don't you study up yet? Shh. Quiet. This is a great book. Flavor text. Chocobo is the best of the summon monsters as far as the quickness of light and cuteness. I agree. The history of our land traces back to the past when humans did not exist. Yup. Silks. Odin. Our master, referred to by humans as the master of oceans, he's a ruler of might. That's Leviathan. 
Ashura, our queen. She does a lot of healing. She isn't a very good one. Water strength. The two moons. It says only one moon shone upon the primeval earth. Mm, reflect. All right. Long ago, a great whale descended from the moon. It is sleeping inside of a dragon now. Oh, I am not ready for that business yet. We will come back to that for in just a minute. Or potentially on the next playthrough. Because I'm not far from calling it. Yeah. Let's see what kind of goodies they got. It's a little tricky. Longsword is 98. Hundred and eighteen. Okay. Sometimes that does matter. What hand you've got it in. And they all just love her to pieces. Let's see what's in this bookshelf. Nothing. Let's see how much of a difference this will make. Makes a big difference. All right. So we'll just combine all that good stuff. tail. Oh, anybody that played the old school FF1 should know what that's for. Thank you. 
No, I said rat tail. <laughs> Alright, Ashura is harder than crap, but let's see if we can get her done. I have made a mistake. <clears throat> She's going to be impossible. Okay. With that being said... I think... Yeah, because I think Wall is a... Dark magic. She's a pussycat, really, once you get that. Because it'll reflect all of her cure spells back onto you. Um... There's no win in this fight, but that's okay. <laughs> we can always come back here. We got some good equipment, we got some good experience points. for her to take out poor little Rosa. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I think the next time when we join together for FF2, I think I'll tackle the Sylph Cave. And that should give me enough experience 
you tend to want to do the two side questy caves first before you do the sealed cave because it'll make the sealed cave that much easier so with that being said I think I'm going to go ahead and call it we'll pick back up next time outside of the cave of the land of the summon monsters and I mean unless I find something super snazzy that I want to throw in there and then we will tackle the cave of sylph and potentially run into somebody we've not seen in a good while so with that being said thanks so much for watching you guys and I will see you guys again soon. Have a great night. Bye for now.